my back. Running forth down on All right, there's certain sneakers in this world that I know I will never own, but if I could just hold the shoe and look at it, it would be a blessing. Maybe I'll never be able to wear them or take them home and put them in my display or collection or whatever, but at least I'll be able to just hold them in my hand and appreciate the beauty that they are. My friend Jacques Slade, who you should know who that is. If you don't know who that is, you probably are not a sneakerhead. Basically, Nike let him unbox this exact shoe. And before he has to send it back to Nike, I asked him if I could come over and see them as well and get a video for you guys. And of course, because he's such a great guy, he said yes. So so before we even go to his house, guys, go check out Jacques Slade's channel if you haven't already. Like I said, you should know who he is. You should be subscribed already. But if for some reason you're not, slap yourself in the face and go subscribe to Jacques' channel because he is the godfather of sneaker YouTube, all right? He's one of the OG OGs. He's been in the game for a long time, and he's really helped me out throughout my whole journey. Come on, man. What the... Anyway, we're gonna go to Jacques' crib right now. We got our masks, of course, because we're trying to stay safe. We are gonna go look at the one of 17 Dornbecker Jordan 1s. I am so excited to see these. Let's go. All right, guys, we just got to Cousteau's studio. Cousteau. What up, what up, what up? How you doing? I'm good, man, I'm good, man. Welcome man, to the studio, bro. Thank you, thank you for having me. In this box is something very, very special. Yes. I'm gonna let you take over because you know all the details. What? You were the chosen <laughs> one by Nike. You are the chosen one by Nike, so I'm just gonna let you uh, let you take over. Okay. So, so basically, break it down. So this is the, what, the Dornbecker. It's the Air Jordan 1. They're celebrating 17 years of the program and they took 14 Jordan sneakers because that's how many they've done in the 17 years and they put them all on one Air Jordan 1 for the auction 16 pairs are gonna come in a regular Jordan 1 box just like this but then one pair is gonna come in a special box which I do not have take a look at the shoes this is not my size this Ooh. is the sample size Wow and man Oh, man. What was your... Okay, hold on. Before we get into the shoe, Nike hits you up and they're like, yo, we want you to get this shoe. What are your first thoughts? Like, they set up a call and I thought it was just going to be a call with a bunch of people because, like, you know, whenever they do, like, a media thing, there's like, oh, we want you to jump on the Zoom call. And then there's like, oh, we're going to do the Dornbecker program again. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm really excited about that. And I thought it was weird. It was just me and two Nike people. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was like, well, we want you to be the uh, exclusive person to reveal the shoes. Oh. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. And like, but I was like, what does this shoe look like? I hadn't seen it and then they showed me and like I was just like it's perfect wow like, people are gonna I knew people were gonna go crazy like as soon as I saw I just saw the pictures yeah in the box and I was like people are gonna go crazy when they see these and that's I mean it's Damn. it's insane it's like the the best Dornbecker shoe that they've ever made so far there's like Carissa's uh 12 I think is I think it's the 12 is here Ethan did the 14 that's here Cole's three is there Caden's eight is here isaiah's four is on the inside yeah that's the one with the superman logo for yeah. the four i was hoping that they did the superman logo on the yeah tongue. i thought that i was hoping that would sick. be too damien who did the uh 17 last year yeah that's here cadence is also at the at the bottom i love right that there. that is so um, fire and then damon i believe it was damon he did the seven so that's there on the back yeah i i, I... I have to get the notes to remember all, to remember yeah. everything because I don't remember these. I know this. Uh, this is the two. This is the thirteen. This is the two. This is the five for Isaac. Um, don't remember the, the the name for the uh, the wheat, but I forgot what shoe that was. The nine, right? The nine. There yeah. You go. And then this was the six, the right? Six. The sock liner of the six. And so this this glows. The midsole here glows. Oh really? This glows you know what's funny i was at tony's place when these got unveiled and then i saw a picture on twitter and i didn't even see the caption or anything and i said they sent it to jacques because it just looked like your floor <laughs> and then i saw the crates in the background yeah. and i'm like dude they sent it to jacques tony's yeah. like no they didn't i'm like look they sent it to him i knew it yeah see like and then that that's oh the yeah bulb. you can see that can you see it on the camera yeah so you can see that there you can't really see it here but you can see how how much brighter it gets yeah when you put it under the black light and what's really cool is this one you can't really see it here and it's really hard to get it on camera but when you see it in person like the pink and the purple at night just like pops and glows super bright. Yeah, it looks I didn't really even dope. know it glows like that. Yeah, it looks super dope, but you can't you can't really see it. Everything about it, even like the stitching right here on the back, that's crazy. You could tell like these were really what really well put together. Like no factory defects or anything. Like so sick, man. Seventeen pairs. 
Oh, I know. I wish it was more, man. At <laughs> you least, and me at both. least a couple thousand. Like I saw a lot of people who, you know, they like shoes, but they weren't like OG sneakerheads saying, "Oh, it's ugly." But it's not even about that. It's about like if you're a sneakerhead and you've been paying attention to the DB line, like yep. this is like a grail. Like yep. this is every single one of them, the best of all of them on one shoe on the best silhouette. On so, the best silhouette at that, yeah. Uh, what the shoe is never supposed to look good. Right. It's supposed that's to be the, that's like that's the style of it. It's it named after what you're reaction should be what yeah, the yeah, yeah yeah like what is that what the nike can you make more pairs please please make more pairs <laughs> please make more pairs nike i want a pair too yeah. <laughs> we, we want a pair. what if you just ghosted nike after this video <laughs> 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 like, nike lawyers be at my door like excuse me mr slade <laughs> mr slade don't live here my name is charlie my name is charlie yeah, yeah, yeah. 2015 i started moving i remember starting on the finding what's the movement started with a couple homies thinking we was booming had to cut them off they didn't know what they was doing months later everything went back Flow and flow and making music on a daily basis till I was a student. Was some worried about the regulations? I just kept pursuing. I was trying to keep my patience. I was grinding. I was cooling. Sheesh. Finally getting to hold these in my hand. Wow, this shoe is absolutely amazing being a sneakerhead for all these years and seeing all these shoes on one is so sick man all right so i'm gonna just take these and then i'll talk to you later all right yeah <laughs> all right you said the ebay auction went live today right yeah it went today at noon what was the original like what did these go for like a 700k or something like that it was more it was like a million a million but it was all like people trolling and stuff yeah. right so they restarted it size 14 is pj tucker guaranteed he's the size 14. this is the first time they've done a what the theme on a jordan one too yeah damn how much do you think these are all gonna end at i mean today's the first day it's yeah day. it's just getting oh, started oh, my size is going for freaking twelve thousand. that's gonna finish at least at 30 40k i'm gonna bid right now yeah uh, how do i get approved because i want to bid on the size seven for mina it's only going for a thousand but obviously it's gonna go up but i would the most i'd be willing to pay for this is maybe like ten thousand, which is the same i spent on a dior so it's not that crazy but i think 10 is, 10, 10 is definitely my limit yeah one of 17. Hey, wait, it's charity, so it's a tax write off. Yeah, it's a tax write off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, low key. All right, guys, so we've just been chilling for the last hour or so, talking it up, been scouting some shoes here in Jock's room. <laughs> Hey, he doesn't know how much some of these shoes are worth. Uh, Jacques's never been the type to worry about the value of a shoe, but I've been telling him, man, some of these shoes that he has here, mainly his Jordan 1s, are worth a lot of money, but I don't want to know he doesn't want Yeah, he said, stop <laughs> telling me. He's like, stop telling me. But uh, one of these days, we'll come back and do a sneaker collection video. I, the last time we did it was like over a year ago before the pandemic, which, yeah, when we went to the to the warehouse and whatnot. But um, appreciate you letting me come over and, and see the shoes and uh, Nike letting me come too. You know, he had to, he, he had to get the okay from nike because that's not an ordinary shoe you know what i mean that's not an ordinary shoe for sure but uh i was happy to just see him in person like i don't know how to explain it but as a sneakerhead you know you're not going to be able to own certain shoes but just having them in hand and being able to appreciate them in person is like it's a good feeling so yes. i'm I, i'm happy i got to see it and uh ah, now it's time to go home but uh appreciate you jock anything you want to say to the people uh kais and i are working on something I was about to say that. <laughs> I was about to say something too. Hey, all I got to say is stay tuned, man. We got an idea. We just got to make it happen. We have a few ideas. We have a few, that's true. It's a few, actually a few ideas. One sooner than the others. But we're going we gonna to make it happen. Yeah. We're going to make it happen. Yeah. Hey, thumbs up if you're excited, all right? All right, Jock, I'm out of here. All Thanks right, for having right, me. I'm so I'm just going gonna, gonna to take, right? take the shoes, all right? No, no. no uh, all right, I'm going to send the lawyers to All right. Lawyers. Nike, come find me. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, guys, we are in the car right now. It is traffic hours, so your boy is stuck in a little bit of traffic. You shout out to Jacques for letting me come through. I do have a package, I believe, did get my order from the sneakers app. If I didn't mention it in a previous video, I basically hit on an early pair. They gave me early access for the first time ever. Believe it or not, there is a way you can increase your chances of winning on sneakers app. A lot of people, I tweeted about this, they didn't believe me but if you know, you know. It's like one of those things that if you know, you know type of thing. And I'm honestly thinking about making a video about it. Some of my friends told me not to make a video on it because it's been help. It's been getting them shoes too. I'm not the only one was that was successful using this technique, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway, man, because I rather tell more people about this way so that Nike can change it up. Because the way that they do do it, although it does work, 
I don't think it's the fair way to do it. So I'll go home and show you guys that. But if you do want to see that video, I need y'all to hit the thumbs up, man. I know I like, I always ask you guys to hit the thumbs up. If you're one of those people that just does not listen to me, please hit the thumbs up. That will let me know that you want to see how to win sneakers on sneakers app video because there is a legit, like proven way that you can increase your chances, all right? Oof, you can't tame me. <laughs> All right, guys, back at my studio. So when they gave me access to purchase this on the sneakers app, my first thought was, should I get it for myself or should I get it for my wife? And I decided to get it for my wife. And obviously in the moment I was excited, I tweeted about it and people were responding saying, hey, you know, you could have got your size and you could have got your wife, Mina, the youth size. Let me explain. I already knew I could do that, but I decided not to do that because when it comes to getting Mina sneakers, we try to always get her the men's pairs because they actually look more like the actual shoe. Youth sizes are kind of modified to look a little different. They're like made slimmer. They don't look like the OG OG version of a shoe. So we like to get her whenever we can the men's version of Jordan 1. You know what I'm saying? She was so excited. She already laced them up. She already took a photo of them. And we're talking about the University Blue Air. Jordan 1. Fellas, take notes, all right? Get your girl a pair before you get yourself a pair. But always make sure, no matter what, you end up getting yourself a pair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I actually got these from the homies over at Soul Play Atlanta while I was out there. They were actually closed, but they are renovating their store and they're gonna be having a grand opening very soon. I think it could even be this weekend. I'm not sure the, of the exact date, but I'll link their Instagram down below. Soul Play Atlanta. If you are in the area, please check it out. Probably the best store that you could get sneakers for retail. It's not a resale shop. It is a retail store and they get a a lot of great retro Jordans. So yeah, let's talk about this shoe because in my opinion, this Jordan 1 is very, very good. They've done so many baby blue themed shoes because obviously Jordan going to North Carolina, but this one right here, in my opinion, is the best one since the classic UNC colorway because quality, leather, suede, the color blocking is perfect. It's basically a Chicago color blocking, but instead of red, it's baby blue. So this is very close to a UNC Chicago, if that makes sense. Yeah, these might go up in price because of that, if you really think about it. So yeah, these drop this Saturday if you're interested in copping them. I mean, I would sit here and try to suggest where you could cop them, but we all know that it's damn near impossible these days. And I actually want to hop on eBay right now to see how much the shoes are going for, because rumor has it that they have gone up in price. prices are crazy right now this is the highest bid right now and there's still four days left 15 15 15 12 000, 10 000. and i was actually thinking about placing a bid for a size seven but uh yeah that's not gonna happen anymore Originally, there was a million dollar bid on the original auction, but I guess people were just trolling. It's unfortunate because this is supposed to be for the Dornbecker charity. There's there's cold people out there who are just trying to, you know, troll and, and have a good laugh. They redid it, they reset it, and they put that 17th pair in the actual auction here. So, uh, but yeah, man, uh, let me know what y'all think of everything we said, everything we discussed, and everything we showed you in today's video. I know you guys have been enjoying the vlog style content. I've been trying to bring it back to the old school days. So if you did, smash the thumbs up, man. I don't know how many times I got to ask you if you haven't done it yet. The video is about to end, so do it right. Still got the city on my back. Running fourth down on fire. I'm just trying to put us on the map. From the south, we're going to take it over.